Clash of Cultures Monumental Edition is the revised and expanded version of the original design by Christian Markison and is published by WizKids. In Clash of Cultures, two to four players will take one of 15 civilizations and over six ages will advance their civilizations through time, exploring new lands, building cities and wonders of the world, and expanding their influence through cultural and military means, hoping that by the end of the game, they will garner the most victory points and be declared the greatest culture in the world. Each of the six ages in the game consists of three rounds in which players take turns performing three actions. At the end of each age, a status phase is conducted where players get to claim objectives, draw action and objective cards, change governments if they wish, and do some cleanup. During each turn, players must take three actions. These actions can include advancing their civilization through the technology board, founding a city, activating a city in order to collect resources, construct buildings, and recruit units, moving those units around the board to fight against barbarians and likely other players. Players can also spend resources to increase the happiness of their cities in order to make them more productive. Lastly, players can try to convert enemy buildings into their own color, hoping to score those buildings for themselves at the end of the game. Along the way, players will gain action cards which can be used to enhance their actions and provide timely advantages throughout the game. Players will also be trying to score points by completing their objective cards. The binding to this epic book that players will be writing is the advancements that their civilizations will discover throughout the game. These advancements are the building blocks for successfully implementing one's strategy and require careful consideration. Also, each time a new advance is gained, a cube is removed from the event track on the player's board. After three cubes are removed, an event will be triggered. Event cards spawn and move barbarians and may provide boons or banes to one or more players. Throughout the game, players may get the opportunity to build wonders in one or more of their cities. These cost a pretty penny, but provide powerful and thematic benefits. In the expanded version of the game, each of the civilizations has their own four-space tech tree which is solely for their benefit. Each civ has three potential leaders who they may employ during the game as well. These unique techs and leader abilities add to the theme, strategies, and replayability of the game. The expanded version also adds new units, including cavalry, elephants, and pirates. At the end of the game, players will receive a half point for each of their advances, one victory point for each building and settlement in their color, two points per completed objective, four points for each of their wonders, or two if they are conquered, and any points on event cards. And that's an overview of Clash of Cultures Monumental Edition. I hope it helps you decide whether it's a game you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel.